Hello everyone and welcome back. So uh, a new player to Sudoku wanted me to critique one of his defeats. He just started playing online and uh, well I figured it's a good way to get a newbie friendly video up. I haven't done one really in a while. So um, let's take a look at the setups. Uh, so I'll, I'll critique anything I can think of. I'm gonna make this very newbie friendly. Okay so I think this is a medium sized battle it looks like. So we have three Boashigaru. One, two, three, four lone swords, two Yariashigaru, a light cavalry, two of them. So let me see, out of the cost. Maybe this is a small battle. Actually, this is a small battle. Uh, the other guy, Yari cavalry, a Naginata samurai, two Naginatas, and two katanas. Alright, so off the top of my head, uh, looking at his setup, uh, it's not bad, but um, it's really lacking in quality type units. A lot of quantity, and so you have to be very careful uh, about the, mor the morale especially of these Ashigaru. Uh, I, I would almost always bring at least one samurai just to be your main attacker. So looking at the other guy, uh, it looks like he's level 3. Um, I, I don't know, I kind of get misleading with the Avatar's bodyguard because there's like a glitch where it shows the, uh, the enemy Avatar bodyguard is always being the same level as yours, so uh, that might be going on here, because if we look at his... Okay, so he's still level... Yeah, he's level 1. He just started playing, so he must be level 3. This is definitely a small battle then. So if we add up this guy's uh, money, that's going to be about 1,000, 1,500. Yes, yeah, so that's probably his whole force. So uh, enemies coming up here to be uh, taking these two buildings, a sword dojo and a shrine. Now, seeing him doing that, and if I wasn't sure I could go dislodge him right away, I would probably have taken my time to get the production building. If it looks like they are going to be hanging out and camping, uh, try and take the buildings that they're not going to get. Plus three defense. I think it's plus three defense. Is huge. Uh, it just it doesn't give you a number there. I think it's like something like plus three defense. So uh, it's a good thing to do, just to. Uh, Make sure your guys are as buff as possible, especially if you don't have uh, any real quality units. So let's see here. Um, the guy we're talking about, uh, I'll just call him Green, and the enemy will be Black. So Green is moving his cavalry to just take a nice shot into the enemy with uh, early cav action. A decent idea, but I would really only recommend early cav action if they have some kind of weak unit that you can hit, usually missile units or cavalry. So this guy is mostly infantry, you don't really want to send your cavalry up uh, to do early action against infantry because they'll just kind of get cut down. You want to save them for hammer and anvil because if he has no way to stop your hammer and anvil you want to save him for that. But it looks like Green's going to pull him back and a uh, good move. So moving his bows up too, moving them way too close, need to be keeping him just out of range. He has no ranged units and just one cavalry so he really needs to do a better job skirmishing. Uh, keep your guys back so they're just in range, you'll see that uh, range indicator and so you just want to keep them just close enough where they can shoot. Make him come to you. If you have the ranged advantage, you can make him come to you. So here we finally have some shooting. Uh, I guess they're doing pretty good there. But uh, Naginatas are not people you want to shoot. Naginatas have the highest armor out of all the infantry. They can take arrows like crazy, especially against Boashigaru, which don't have very powerful bows. You should be shooting at Katanas or even at Cavalry. Yari Cavalry are pretty low defense in armor. They're pretty good to attack with bows. Uh, or even his general, get his general under pressure. But I would be shooting the katanas here, definitely, and not the naginatas. So shooting the naginatas with Boashigaru is kind of a waste of arrows. And uh, be careful here with his bodyguard. I don't know what he's doing up here this close. Uh, need to keep him safe. And don't make him fight spears. Uh, spears destroy cavalry. Even though they're naginatas and they're not, they're not exactly spears, but they do have a bonus against cavalry. So don't leave your general up in front. Uh, you really need to take care of your general in this game. He's extremely important. If he dies, you're probably going to lose. Like, it's it's very, very, very hard to win, especially if you just have Ashigaru. If you have, like, a monks or a samurai, they can stand realistically after the general dies, but Ashigaru cannot. So do not let your bodyguard get beaten. Uh, otherwise, it looks like you're doing okay. Uh, good swarming the lone swords here on the Naginata samurai. Good move. Uh, Should have pulled your bows back. Make sure they're... Uh, Make sure they're safe. You don't want them to get caught up in melee. Really, um, not too bad besides throwing the general away. You don't want to do that. He needs to be safe. He's already down to 12 men. 
I think that's going to be what's going to lose the battle. So these Naginais are getting swarmed, and are probably going to lose against two Lone Swords. Uh, pulling back the cavalry, not sure what you're doing there. Uh, you need to be moving, maneuvering them around to the back and doing hammer and anvil. Uh, hitting him into the rear of his enemy will give him a huge morale penalty, or even just suiciding his general. His general is all alone right here, and since he only has one cavalry to stop you, you could move your light cavalry around and uh, maneuver around his Yari cavalry, or at worst, just hold him down with one light cavalry while the other one just rushes headlong into the general. And light cavalry aren't very good, but uh, they're deceptively strong in their charges. Their charges can... Uh, I've obliterated general bodyguard units with a light cavalry charge. So they're still good on those charges. So the bow's going to pull back, that's good, but the Yari, the Yari Cav's going to be right there. Now, uh, it's, it was pretty common in older Total War games for people to use spears like any other infantry unit. But in this game, you really need uh, to keep your spears out of melee combat with other infantry. They're really only good against cavalry, and they will destroy cavalry, but uh, they cannot fight against other infantry, especially Yari Ashigaru against Samurai. Any kind of samurai, really. Yari Ashigaru is probably the worst. Well, it is the worst infantry unit. It can really only fight cavalry. So you need to have your uh, Yari Ashigaru on the flanks or guarding against cavalry. Use your spears reactively. I'll always say to be proactive. But you want to use your spears reactively and follow the cavalry. Put them in a separate control group if the enemy has a, a cavalry threat. And move them independently of your main line. And uh, I believe the general is dead. Yes, the general is dead, and that's what's going to cause the mass routing. When your general dies, your Ashigaru are just going to panic. See, we have wavering all over here. And then this general charge into the side is pretty much going to seal it. They're going to get a big morale penalty there. Uh, he's going to pop rally. Also, if you feel your general's going to die, you need to pop rally. Or if you see the, the morale bar up here above the banner, it's red. Uh, when it gets down to the red, you need to use rally with your general. Um, but overall, this, this wasn't too bad. Uh, but the general dying is what killed it. You have to keep him safe. Don't leave him in front of the lines to just get, to get shattered. Cause see, now everybody's going to rout because the general's dead. And, and Ashigaru are very susceptible to morale loss. And your general dying is the worst way uh, to keep your morale up. It will just it will just destroy your morale. I mean, look, these are pretty good numbers. 85, 118, uh, 70, 97, 123, 126. So they were good numbers. You probably would have won if... Uh, you'd use your swords first. Send your swords in to tie down the enemy infantry. And then use your uh, spears to follow the enemy cavalry and cut them off. Uh, try and engage them. Lure them into bad charges. Keep your general safe. It's very important. Um, for general uh, skill trees, I would recommend the melee tree. It's what I use. It makes them very hard to kill, and you can actually use them like heavy cavalry. So I really like the, uh, the melee tree. But that's just a suggestion. Leadership tree is also very good. Bow, not so much. Um, so there you have it. And look, this Naginata is down to 72. You're doing good damage. Uh, this Katana wasn't hurt very much at all right here in the middle. But you really need to send like one unit to kind of tie him down. And if you'd use your light cavalry to flank around, you could have smashed into him from the rear and routed him. Uh, or killed his general or anything like that. But the general is extremely important. You have to keep him safe. If he dies, everybody's just going to rout. Even Samurai will rout if your general dies, like almost instantly. So you have to keep him safe. Keep him back behind your infantry line. Only bring him out to attack if you really need uh, some kind of uh, morale shock somewhere, or if you can catch his general alone and you have a melee general and you can bonsai right into him, then go for it. Otherwise, he needs to be behind your men. Uh, there's a big wide circle around the general. You need to keep all your units as best as you can inside that circle. And if it looks like they're starting to waver, or you feel like your general's about to die, pop that rally. And uh, they'll stay in the fight a little longer. So, uh, there you go. I can't really think of anything else. Um, see, cavalry is just sitting here the whole time. You need to be moving them around on the flanks and the rear, even if it's just a threaten. And then once they get an opening, bring them around behind and run them right into the backs of the infantry, and you could probably route them. Even light cavalry can get good charges. Uh, or his general was also all alone, could have just smashed into him. Um, being only a rank 3, it wouldn't have had a very strong melee general, so you could have probably obliterated him with two light cavalry charges. So uh, there you have it. Uh, thanks for watching, everybody.